Welcome to our channel where curiosity knows no bounds and the sands of time whisper secrets of ages past. Today we embark on a thrilling expedition, a journey into the heart of archaeology to unearth some of history's most astonishing discoveries. Our planet holds within its embrace the remnants of civilizations long gone, each artifact a piece of a puzzle waiting to be pieced together. These relics, often hidden for millennia, offer us a glimpse into the lives, beliefs and ingenuity of those who came before us. Join me now as we look into the depths of history to uncover 12 remarkable archaeological finds, each more awe-inspiring than the last. From intricate mechanisms to inexplicable manuscripts, these discoveries have challenged our understanding of the past and ignited our imagination. Prepare to be amazed, for the stories we are about to unravel are as captivating as they are incredible. Let us begin our exploration. Our journey begins in the depths of the Aegean Sea, where a chance discovery in 1901 brought to light an artifact so complex, so advanced for its time, that it would baffle scientists for over a century. This mystifying object recovered from an ancient shipwreck is known as the Antikythera mechanism. If you will, the year is 1901. Divers exploring a Roman era shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera stumble upon a corroded lump of bronze. Little did they know, they had stumbled upon one of the most significant archaeological finds of all time. Initial examination revealed little, but closer inspection revealed a labyrinth of gears, dials and inscriptions. The complexity of the device was astounding, its purpose a complete mystery. Was it an astronomical clock, a navigational tool or something else entirely? The Antikythera mechanism, with its intricate gears and precise movements, seemed to defy the technological capabilities of its era. It was a puzzle that would captivate the minds of scientists, historians and engineers alike. From the depths of the ocean we now journey to the realm of the written word where another mystery awaits. This time our artifact is not a complex mechanism but a manuscript a book filled with strange symbols and illustrations, its language a code yet to be cracked. This is the Voynich Manuscript. Visualize a book, its pages filled with flowing script, intricate diagrams and vibrant illustrations of unknown plants and astronomical phenomena. This is the Voynich Manuscript, a 15th century codex that has intrigued cryptographers, linguists and historians for centuries. The manuscript's origins are mysterious. Its author remains unknown, its purpose a subject of endless speculation. Some believe it to be a medieval treatise on herbalism or alchemy, while others speculate that it might hold the key to lost knowledge or even extraterrestrial communication. The script itself is unlike any known language, a bewildering array of symbols and ligatures. Despite numerous attempts, the Voynich manuscript remains undeciphered, its secrets locked away, waiting to be unlocked. Our journey through time now leads us to the shores of the mighty Ottoman Empire, where in 1929 a discovery of extraordinary significance would be made. It was within the walls of the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul that a map drawn on gazelle skin emerged from the shadows of history. This was no ordinary map, it was the Piri Race map, a document that would challenge our very understanding of ancient seafaring and cartography. Dated to the year 1513, the Piri race map depicts not only the familiar coastlines of Europe, Africa and the Americas, but also details of Antarctica, a continent not officially discovered until centuries later. This astonishing revelation has left scholars baffled and intrigued in equal measure. Some suggest the map is evidence of a lost civilization with advanced seafaring knowledge. Others propose that the map is a compilation of older charts passed down through generations of navigators. Whatever its true origins, the Piri Race map stands as a testament to the ingenuity and thirst for exploration that has driven humanity for millennia. It serves as a stark reminder that our planet still holds many secrets waiting to be unearthed and understood.
Our next stop takes us to the Anatolian plains of southeastern Turkey, a region steeped in history and ancient civilizations. Here in 1963, a discovery of unprecedented magnitude would rewrite the story of human civilization. On a hilltop known as Gobekli Tepe, archaeologists unearthed a complex of monumental structures predating Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids by thousands of years. The site, dating back to the 10th millennium BC, consists of massive stone pillars arranged in circular enclosures. These pillars, some weighing up to 20 tons, are adorned with intricate carvings of animals, abstract symbols and human figures. The sheer scale and sophistication of the site have challenged long-held assumptions about the capabilities of hunter-gatherer societies. Previously, it was believed that large-scale construction projects and complex social structures only emerged with the advent of agriculture and settled life. Gobekli Tepe, however, predates these developments by several millennia, suggesting that our ancient ancestors were capable of far greater social organization and technological prowess than previously thought. The discovery of Gobekli Tepe has forced archaeologists to rethink the timeline of human development and the origins of civilization itself. It stands as proof to the resourcefulness and creativity of our distant ancestors who, despite lacking metal tools and agriculture, were able to conceive and construct a monument of astonishing complexity and beauty. Our journey now takes us to the heart of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. Here, archaeologists stumbled upon clay pots, copper tubes and iron rods. The discovery of the Baghdad battery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The arrangement resembled a galvanic cell, capable of generating an electric current. Experiments with acidic solutions generated a small electric current. The Baghdad battery challenged assumptions about ancient technological capabilities. The Nazca Desert in southern Peru, a vast arid plateau seemingly barren and lifeless, yet etched into this desolate landscape lies a riddle that has enthralled the world for decades. The Nazca Lines, thousands of perfectly straight lines, some stretching for miles, crisscross the desert floor. Interspersed amongst them are enormous geometric shapes, triangles, trapezoids, spirals, and then the most perplexing figures of all, depictions of animals, birds, and even a humanoid figure known as the astronaut. Created by the ancient Nazca people between 500 BC and 500 AD, these geoglyphs remained hidden for centuries, their true scale only revealed from the air. But how did a civilization with no access to flight conceive of such monumental artwork, and what was their purpose? Some believe the lines were astronomical markers, aligning with the stars and solstices. Others speculate they served a religious function, perhaps as pathways for rituals or offerings to the gods. The true meaning, however, remains elusive, adding to the allure of these enigmatic desert drawings. In 1974, a group of farmers in China stumbled upon one of the most extraordinary archaeological discoveries of all time, the Terracotta Army. Buried for over two millennia, this vast army of life-sized terracotta soldiers stands guard over the tomb of Qin Shi Huang the first emperor of China. Imagine their astonishment, unearthing row upon row of these silent warriors, each with their own unique features and expressions. Over 8,000 soldiers, chariots, horses, and even acrobats and musicians, all crafted with astonishing realism and attention to detail. The emperor, obsessed with immortality and maintaining his power even in the afterlife, had commissioned this incredible army to protect him in the next world. Each figure was painstakingly sculpted, their armor, weapons and hairstyles meticulously recreated to reflect the military might of the Qin dynasty. The sheer scale of this undertaking is staggering, evidence to the power and ambition of the first emperor. The discovery of the terracotta army not only provides invaluable insights into ancient Chinese military practices, but also offers a glimpse into the beliefs and rituals surrounding death and the afterlife. Our journey through ancient wonders now takes us to Egypt, 1799. Napoleon's army made a discovery that would change our understanding of the ancient world forever, the Rosetta Stone. Unearthed near Rosetta, this slab held the key to unlocking Egyptian hieroglyphs. It had three scripts, ancient Greek demotic and hieroglyphs. 
This discovery provided scholars a way to decipher hieroglyphs. The Rosetta Stone became a linguistic key, unlocking ancient Egyptian language. It opened a window into a lost civilization, allowing us to read the words of pharaohs. The year is 1947. The region, the Qumran Caves, overlooking the Dead Sea. A young Bedouin shepherd, searching for a stray goat, stumbles upon a cave, its mouth concealed by the shifting sands. Little did he know this chance encounter would unveil a treasure trove of ancient texts, forever changing our understanding of biblical history. Inside the cave, hidden within tall clay jars, lay scrolls of parchment and papyrus, their surfaces inscribed with meticulous Hebrew script. Word of the discovery spread like wildfire, attracting the attention of archaeologists and scholars from around the globe. These fragile fragments, painstakingly pieced together over decades, turned out to be the oldest known copies of the Hebrew Bible, predating any previously discovered texts by centuries. They offered an unprecedented glimpse into the lives and beliefs of a Jewish sect known as the Essenes, believed to have lived in the Qumran area during the time of Jesus. Picture this, if you will, the rolling hills of Suffolk, England. The year is 1939. As the shadow of war loomed large over Europe, a different kind of discovery was about to capture the world's imagination. On a tranquil estate known as Sutton Hoo, a farmer named Basil Brown noticed strange mounds rising from the earth. Intrigued, he began to excavate, carefully peeling back layers of soil and time. What he unearthed was nothing short of astonishing, the ghostly imprint of a massive Anglo-Saxon ship, its timber hull long decayed, but its form preserved in the sandy soil. This was no ordinary vessel. This was a royal ship, a tomb fit for a king, laden with treasures beyond imagination. Gold and garnet jewellery, intricately crafted weapons, silver plates from distant Byzantium, all spoke of a wealthy and powerful ruler laid to rest in spectacular fashion. But deep within the rolling hills of southwestern France lies a secret chamber, untouched for millennia. It was in 1940, during the tumultuous years of World War II, that a group of adventurous teenagers stumbled upon an entrance concealed by the passage of time. What they found inside would forever alter our understanding of prehistoric art and human creativity. Flickering candlelight revealed a breathtaking spectacle a vast underground canvas adorned with hundreds of animal figures, horses, bulls, deer, and other creatures rendered in vibrant ochre, reds, yellows, and blacks, seemed to leap and gallop across the cave walls. The sheer scale and artistry of the Lascaux cave paintings left the world speechless. These weren't crude sketches, hastily drawn. The artists of Lascaux possessed a keen eye for detail and a mastery of form and perspective. They used the contours of the cave walls to enhance the three-dimensionality of their subjects, creating an immersive experience for the viewer. Dating back some 17,000 years to a time when woolly mammoths still roamed the earth, the Lascaux paintings offer a poignant glimpse into the minds of our ancestors. They speak of a deep connection to the natural world, a reverence for the animals they hunted, and perhaps a yearning to capture the essence of life itself. Few artefacts throughout history have generated as much controversy and intrigue as the Shroud of Turin. This unassuming linen cloth bearing the faint image of a man has captivated the world's imagination for centuries. Is it the genuine burial cloth of Jesus Christ, a sacred relic imbued with divine significance, or is it a clever forgery, a product of medieval ingenuity? The Shroud first surfaced in 14th century France. Its origins still remain a mystery. The 14-foot-long linen cloth bears the front and back image of a man, his body covered in wounds consistent with crucifixion. The image itself is faint, barely visible to the naked eye, and appears to be a photographic negative. For centuries, the shroud was housed in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy, where it became an object of veneration for millions of pilgrims. The Catholic Church has never definitively declared the shroud to be authentic, but it has acknowledged its powerful spiritual significance. Over the years, the shroud has been subjected to countless scientific tests and analyses, 
each attempting to unveil the secrets hidden within its delicate fibres. Carbon dating tests conducted in 1988 suggested the shroud dated back to the medieval period, casting doubt on its authenticity. From the depths of ancient caves to the hushed halls of museums, these 12 archaeological finds offer a tantalizing glimpse into the wealth of human history. They remind us of the ingenuity, creativity, and enduring spirit of our ancestors, and they challenge us to unravel the mysteries of our collective past. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Let us know in the comments which archaeological find amazed you the most. Was it the intricate mechanism of the Antikythera device, the undeciphered script of the Voynich manuscript, or perhaps the sheer scale and grandeur of the terracotta army? Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our world, both past and present.